in the woods Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. Out here at the Pathfinder School property, I wanted to shoot a quick video with you today. And this is just a tip or trick video I wanted to show you that you can use with bucket style packs. Uh, this is the Bushcraft Pack by Duluth Pack Company, and it's a solid open bucket pack. The Pathfinder Pack is the same open bucket. I prefer bucket packs because they don't have a lot of pockets and places to put things in, so it's easier to not lose or forget where you put things if it's all in one big bucket. Now a large Alice pack would work the same way as this pack works. In any pack that's about 3,200 to 3,500 cubes in an open bucket would probably work with the system that I'm about to show you. What I like about this system is, is it allows rigidity in the pack. And what I've done here, I'll open this up, and it's not really worth going through the contents that are in this pack but what I've done is I've taken this pack and you can see really what's in here is just a couple of items like a cook kit a shelter kit a roll of duct tape and my wool blanket but what I've done here is this there is an office style garbage can that's been dropped into this pack and then the sides have been cinched up around it here 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 and here and that creates a solid frame. Let me get rid of this axe out of here. That creates a solid frame in that pack. Now that gives you a lot of advantages. The big advantage it gives you, in my opinion, number one is that you have a very large container that you can pull out of this pack if you need to and use it for anything from collecting water or anything else. I can pull that container out. It's got a couple holes punched around the top of it here. I can lace cordage in there and pick it up, hang it off something, carry water in it back to camp, things of that nature if I need to. But it also gives me the advantage of having a rigid system inside this pack just by pushing it down in there that makes it almost like an internal frame pack except the frame goes all the way around and makes it solid. You don't have things poking you in the back when you pack this pack. If you have something on the outside, you don't have it poke you in the back at all. So I really like that about that. It gives it that trap basket style pack that you would have if you had a hard basket pack with all the amenities of a soft pack around it. You've got a couple external pouches. You've got a nice flap with pouches inside of it. You've got things that you can strap to the outside. I've got a shell holder here from some type of a German or Russian weapon that I've got 12 12 gauge shells in. I put one on the other side, then I've got 24 12 gauge shells with me all the time. And the versatility of this is I can take this out, put my contents back in, and use this to store or carry water. I can stone boil water in this very, very easily. And I'm a bucket guy. I like buckets. Five gallon bucket in a pack would be a dream to me. This is very much like having a five gallon bucket inside your pack, and it works out really well. Now, if I needed to put other things in this pack or carry other things, this blanket roll can be put on the outside of this pack very easily. And in that case, I have all the storage room inside the pack, plus I have the ability to store water or stone boil water at camp or whatever I need to do. And I can still put all my contents in my pack because it's gonna work as a pack whether I have that bucket in there or not. The bucket's just gonna give it that rigidity. And that's what I really like. So once I get this thing put back in place, What I really like about this is how rigid it makes the pack when you put it on your body. It makes it feel a lot better on you and evens out the load a lot better than the traditional way of doing things would where you have everything loose inside there and anything that's not placed exactly right is poking you or sticking out or whatever the case may be with this. You don't have that. You've got a solid rigid frame all the way around it. So when you put it on your back, it rides just perfect. And I like that. So you can see how that pack sits. It sits nice on there, it's rigid. I don't have anything poking at me from the back because I've got that nice, flat, solid pack. This is a really narrow pack. And I like that. I don't like things that stick out real far when I'm going through dense brush. I like to have that thing about the width of my body. And that works out real well for that. Okay, now I got this garbage can that I've got inside this pack. 
I think at Lowe's or Home Depot, one of the two. It's just an office style garbage can. It costs less than $5 to make that modification to this pack and it makes it a whole lot more versatile for that $5. So I thought I'd share that with you guys today. I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. I appreciate everything that you do for me, for my school, for my family. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos and I'll be back as soon as I can with another video.